Hello, I'm going to continue. This is the part two of my conversion. That another reason why I embrace the Catholic because of this Holy Eucharist. We Protestant, we don't believe that it was the actual body or the actual blood of Jesus Christ. But if you try to look at the Bible, Jesus said, I am the bread of life in John chapter 6, verse 50. I am the bread of life that which came down from heaven. Whoever eats my body and drink my blood will have eternal life. Because we will sum up everything because my body saka yung blood ko ay totoong pagkain. Sabi niya, totoong pagkain. The true food. Whereas, if we will just say a symbol only, it is not true food. So, simple lang ang understanding natin dito kapatid. Kahit bata, they can understand. Pag sinabi niya, totoo ito ay talagang totoo. Jesus Christ will never tell lies. But it is only you, man, Catholic. That's why, when I found out the truth, I was so amazed because actually, the body, the bread, at saka white is a symbolical for a priest to bring forth. Like for instance, King Melchizedek, the great high priest during the time of Abraham. He brought bread and wine to Abraham and he blessed Abraham. So the lineage or the order of the Melchizedek or the Melchizedek order never stopped. And the priest that we have right now, sila lang ang may hawak sa bread at saka ano, wine. But historically, during the time of Jesus Christ, sabi pa ni Jesus, the, the four Gospels, and even 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 25, anong sinasabi ni Paul? Even this is the, the, the declaration of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, and it was repeated by Paul, on the night he was betrayed, he took the bread. After giving thanks and broke it, he said, this is my body. Bread, sabi ni Jesus, this is my body, which broken for you. And as you eat this, remember me. So, the transubstantiation. And on that night, he was betrayed. He took the cup. After giving thanks, he said, This is the cup of my blood. The cup of the new covenant. Whoever drinks my blood will have eternal life. So, kapatid, this is a serious issue that the non-Catholic must believe. Otherwise, you will not have eternal life. So, and this is another reason why I embraced this faith. Because it speaks about the truth. Kung mayro mang mga problema, the, the members of the Catholic Church, actually, yes, our part as a converted pastor to the Roman Catholic is to make them aware of our catechism. That's the reason why I'm having this apostolate. I go around Philippines, and share the goodness of Jesus Christ. And I always carry with me the catechism of the Catholic Church and the Bible. So, hindi yun nag, ano, nagbanggaan kapatid. It goes together. Another one, because I will not talk too much. Importante yung makuha natin ang pinaka reason why. The last reason, the turning point. Because I was a pastor in Korea for five years. I worked in Shingwang Church as a pastor for the for the uh, Americans, for the Australians, and for the Canadians. So, one night, I ironed my suit, my inner suit, and my long sleeve because I am about to deliver the message of God. It was Sunday morning. So, at 6 o'clock, na ayon ko. Pagkatapos, nag-relax mo na. And you know what happened? I saw the Blessed Virgin Mary. Hindi lang siya vision, but totoong totoo talaga. Biglang nag-appear a, a, a white, parang but, you know, hindi masyadong malaki, maliit na light, white siya. And then later on, nag-appear, appear, nag-appear, biglang lumalaki at nakita ko yung the whole body of the Lady of the Lord sa Lourdes Paris. Why is it that I recognize the Lourdes Paris? Because I always fast to the church. Doon sa, 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 sa pinerahan namin, malapit lang. She's wearing a white clothes, may blow dito. Ano kapatid? She look at me and she open her hands. She never says a word. Because for her, word is enough that was being made by the Lord Jesus Christ in his, in his ministry, the Bible. The Bible is enough. She just opened her hands, she looked at me, she smiles at me. And you know what happened? Something deep inside me. May nangyari sa loob. I don't even understand why. I told her, why you appeared to me? 
Yeah, we don't like it. We don't even preach the, your young annunciation. Yung. We don't even preach about your annunciation, your your ano, yung mga teaching because we are anti Mary. We just only focus to Jesus Christ. But you know what? She never says a word. She just look at me with her beautiful face, full of radiance, full of light, and that was the light of God. Nag reflect sa buhay ng mga mabay. Do nag sa kapatid. And then, I returned to Philippines. I studied the Catechism. Kahit protestante pa ako at that time, I read all the books of the Catholic. And I began to realize and understand that this church is the only church that was being established by the Lord Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago. Sabi ni Jesus kay Peter, Tu is Petros it sukaham Petram, edit pekabo ecclesia miam in porte in tri non prevalibum ad persum miam. Thou art Peter upon this rock, I will build my church. Even church, even the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. The church. This is my reminder. The moment you are trying to destroy this church, the moment you try or to make steps or plan to destroy this church, you will not prevail. Maraming makanbek na mga protestante at magbalik katoliko sa ginagawa niyo. Kahit sino pang magsabi dyan, mayroong isang leader ngayon, I will not mention his name, sabi niya, 20 years from now, the Catholic Church will die. It will not. Mamatay ka na lang, it will not die. Because, my promise you, Lord. Yes, the church is not perfect. The church is full of, ano, may mga vices, ganon. It is not perfect. But hindi ibig sabihin na hindi yan kay Lord. God is not yet finished with the Holy Roman Catholic Church. Something good, something great will be happening to all members of this church, the Holy Roman Catholic Church. So thank you, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. God will bless you, and I will continue to pray for you, for your healing, and for your success in every decision that you are going to make. I declare, by the name of Jesus Christ, be blessed, be healed, touched by the power of God. If you are having sicknesses right now, be healed in Jesus' name. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. God bless.